Symptom number three, dishing the dirt. I have no regard for truth, no respect for justice, no mercy for the defenseless. My victims are as numerous as the sands of the sea and often as innocent. I never forgive, I never forget, and Sultan, and, 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 and never, and never forgive. My name is what? Gossip. Yeah. Gossip is all over the place. Gossip. Definition of a gossip. A gossip is a person who spreads intimate or private rumors or facts. Notice that I include the term facts. Some people claim that it is not gossip if it is the truth. They are deceiving themselves. True or not, it's gossip. If it is private or intimate in nature. In, in nature. Man, you got gossip. You know, you find gossip in the house of God. You find people, the pastor can't finish saying a few words and somebody's saying something, you, you can hear them. I mean, they, they can't keep their mouth shut. They can't wait, they, they can't, they, they can't wait to get there before service to gossip. They can't, can't wait during, during the service and they can't wait till it's over. They, they just gossip, gotta have some, gotta have something to say, man. Gotta have something to say. Got to have some kind of problem. Stirring up dirt, man. A gossip betrays a confidence. So avoid a man who talks too much. That is pretty clear, isn't it? Troublemakers plant seeds of strife. Gossip separates the best of friends. I was saying before about the church, right? Even Paul the Apostle was talking way back then about the church and people doing things. He said, what? He said, I'm afraid that I will find quarreling, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfishness, backstabbing, gossip, conceited, disordered behavior if I come to the church. He brought him a letter and said, I, I, I'm, I'm afraid that I might find those things in the church. So look, clearly gossip is not a new, a new problem with the church. It's been going on for a long time. So it's just, it's just a, I think that'll run a lot of people out of church when you get in church and and you think you're going to listen to the service, you're going there to praise God, maybe you're praying, you want some prayers answered, and people gossip. Is that so and so right there? Does it belong over here? I thought I'd seen a spreading gossip, don't know whether it's true or untrue, or that, you know, why are you spreading it? It's not, if you're not going to help a person, if you're not going to edit, it's best to keep your mouth shut. Pray for somebody that God blessed them and keep them and, and heal them and solve their problem. No sense in gossiping about something. That's, like I say, Another symptom of a, of a sick, sick tongue. And the way to do it in the house of God is even even worse. You know, you got people doing it in the workplace. You know, they're doing it all kind of places, you know. But uh, imagine it going on in the church, the house of God. So uh, try to avoid that if you're in the house of God. Try to, try to, you know, try to pick that person out and correct them so they keep their mouth shut. Because the whole purpose of church, man, is, is to get people get people's souls saved. The church the church cannot save your soul, but the church can lead you right into the kingdom of God. The church can tell you how you get saved, how you go to heaven. Because the church says you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and repent of your sins, you're going to heaven. Because you're going to heaven by grace. And only Jesus Christ can save you. Can the pastor save you? Can the, the gospel sit beside you save you? The only person who can save you is your tongue, your mouth, confessing Christ and forgiving them of your sins, confessing your sins, you're going to heaven. Accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, repent of your sins, you're going to heaven. And that gospel can is, uh, you know, fill your mouth with some mint balls and gum and shut up. So stay black in America and subscribe to my channel until next time.